Hello digital artists. This video is going to walk you through creating a face made up of fruits and vegetables using Adobe Photoshop. The point of this is to teach you how to use different selection tools in Photoshop. So the file that we're going to use is called 02start.psd. It's on the resource files and learning links page down here in the handout files for Photoshop. If you click that, you should download it. You can click open or choose open with Photoshop or save it and then open it. Either way will work. And this is what it looks like to begin with. Okay, so you've got a bunch of separate items here that you're going to select and build into a face. So the first thing we're going to do is introduce you to the different selection tools. Okay, the first tool here is the move tool. It shortcut is V and it lets you move things that you've already selected. Um, this tool here is called the marquee tool, the rectangular and elliptical marquee tool are the main tools that we'll use. And they make selections that are simple shapes. So click and drag, you can make a rectangle. If you hold shift while making a selection with that, it will make it a square. And with the elliptical marquee, makes ellipses, or if you hold shift, it makes a circle. Now, all selection tools allow you to add and subtract from a selection you've already made. So if I make a circular selection, I can press shift, you'll see the plus sign show up, and I can make another circle or ellipse. Okay, the space bar also lets you reposition selections as you make them. Look, it's Mickey Mouse. Okay, I digress. So once you have a selection, whatever you do in Photoshop will affect what's in the selection. Everything else outside of it will be unaffected. So if I were to paint with the paintbrush, it's only going to paint in that selection. Okay, I did Command Z to undo that. Um, if I did an effect or filter or anything in Photoshop, it's just going to happen in that selection. So making selections is incredibly important for you to be able to um, affect just certain areas of an image. So the first step is I'm going to use the elliptical marquee tool to select the carrot. Okay, so I'm going to want to zoom in. And when you use this tool, typically you click and drag and it kind of moves from one of your corners. So I'm going to make a selection, reposition it just a little bit to get perfect selection of that carrot. And then I'll switch to my move tool and I'm going to drag it over to this melon here. Okay. Now, to make a copy of this, I'm just going to press the option key while I'm on the move tool and you'll see my arrowhead becomes double and I'm going to drag a second one and I've got two of these there now, that's good. I'm gonna press Command D to deselect. Now I've got the base for the eyes. Now one thing about this method, when I option drag my carrot and deselect, it locks them in place. It has replaced the pixels that are behind the carrot slices on the melon. I can't move them. If I try to move them, there's gonna be holes in the melon. Okay, whoa, a little too much zooming there. So what I'm gonna do next is select this blueberry and put it on top of the carrot. So like I did before, I'll use the elliptical marquee. I'm gonna option click in the middle of my blueberry and I'm holding shift. Okay, so that keeps it circular. The option key in this case makes it select out from the center as opposed from a corner. Okay. Now 
Next, I'm going to make a nose for this guy. And to use a very simple, easy selection tool is the way to go whenever you have a chance. So the magic wand tool is grouped here with the object selection tool and the quick selection tool. And all of these tools are quick and easy to use. Okay, magic wand is now a little slower than the other ones, but the way it works is it makes a selection based on similar colors. So if I click here, it's going to get all of the similar colors to the pixel that I clicked on. Okay, and if I hold shift, click again, and one more time, or twice, I'll get all of this. Okay, that's the magic wand. The third one down. The quick selection tool, very similar, but it uses a brush. It does the same thing, it selects based on color, but the brush that it's going to use needs to be basically smaller than whatever you're clicking on. So you saw that when I first started my brush was big, and if I try that, it's not going to do a good job. It's too big for the job here. Okay. So. Whatever tool you want to use here, magic wand, basically three or four clicks should get you the whole thing. And then once again, switch to the move tool, drag this over, put it in place. Okay, next step is I'm going to make some eyebrows for this guy. And we're going to use these radishes for that. So one trick for selecting something that's on a very clean white background basically all 100% white is to isolate it from everything else with a selection and then to take the magic wand and subtract the white from your selection so I'm going to press option notice the minus sign appears when I click on the white it subtracts white leaving me with the radish okay now the other tools that are in here quick selection and especially the object selection tool are even faster. The object selection tool, if I click and drag around it, it's going to use its magic to make a perfect selection of that. Okay, and I'm going to option drag a second one. To flip this over, I'm going to go to edit, transform, flip horizontal. Okay. Now, one other thing. If I want to rotate something or scale something, I can do that with a free transform. So edit, free transform, command T. It's a shortcut for that. And like I said, you can rotate by moving outside of a corner. You can scale. If you hold shift while you scale, it will let you squash or stretch. If you hold command, it will let you grab a corner and skew. Okay. When you're in free transform, it's going to stay in free transform and not let you do anything else until you either hit return to complete your transformation or escape to get rid of it. I hit escape. I didn't want to really change it. So there we go. To put a mouth on this guy, I'm going to just take my elliptical marquee, drag an ellipse. And I'll put that right there. He looks a little surprised. I'm going to use another transform technique called warp. So edit, transform, warp. Puts this around here. I can click in here and drag stuff around. I can grab these handles and move them make him look like he's smiling all kinds of goodness now he looks excited I can still move this as long as it's selected once I deselect it's gonna be locked in place command D going with it okay I'm gonna put a hat on him and I want to show you another group of selection tools so the lasso tool the polygonal or polygonal and the magnetic lasso. The regular lasso tool is basically a freehand 
click and drag around to make a selection, okay? If you use this tool, don't try to get it perfect. It's easier to go back and fix any mistakes, like say you're falling asleep and just kind of doze off and uh, well, then you wake up and you're like, oh, I was doing something. And you go on your merry way. Well, that's okay. It's easier to go back and fix something. So you hold shift to add. You click and you drag around what you want to add. And then you let go. Okay? Easy peasy. All right, I'm going to move this onto his head. Now, another pretty easy tool to use, the magnetic lasso finds edges. So it's a little similar to the magic wand. If you click right in here and drag, so I clicked and I let go and I'm just slowly dragging around this, it pretty much finds the edge and adheres to it. I'm gonna click and drag this over now, one thing I want to do, I want this to fit the side of this guy's head. So I'm going to switch to the marquee tool. I'm going to press option so that I'm in subtract mode. And I'm going to click and drag up to take an ellipse out of this orange. Grapefruit, blood orange, something like that. I'm going to rotate it with the command T, free transform. Turn to complete my, complete my transformation, option drag a copy, edit, transform, flip horizontal, drag this ear into place, and deselect. All right, the last item is this bow tie for folly. All right, so the polygon lasso is a tool that you click move, click, move, and it makes straight lines, okay? If I make a bunch of lines and double click over here, it's gonna automatic connect, automatically connect back to where I began, okay? Now, there's a way to use this tool. There's a shortcut, basically. There's always a shortcut, right? So if I start selecting the bow tie pasta for folly, make it nice curve here. When I get over here, if I press and hold option, I let go of the trackpad, and then I am switched to this polygon lasso tool. And I can click, click, click to make these straight lines. When I get down here, I'm going to click and hold the trackpad down again, let go of option. When I start moving, it has switched me back to the regular lasso. Once again, here, press and hold option, let go of the trackpad, and I'm polygonal lassoing to make straight lines. So here I'm going to click, I'm going to let go of option, and then I'm going to let go, boom, got a bow tie. Deselect once I got it in place. The last step is to crop this image so I get rid of all this junk on the left side. So the crop tool right here puts a bounding box around the whole image. I'm going to click and drag that over. Hit return. Then I'm going to hit Shift Command S, which is File Save or Save As. I'm going to change it to a JPEG because that's what you should hand in. Dang, he looks happy. Good for you, buddy. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you guys um, have a great time doing this. Thank you.